Hello, so the article I chose was called Stopping Behavior Before It Starts, and it was published by Teaching Exceptional Children. The article starts off by mentioning a scenario where a special ed teacher and a general ed teacher are struggling to control a student's disruptive behavior during class. So they contacted a behavior specialist who suggested using antecedent interventions and taking those um, preventative steps to the problem behavior. Um, I think antecedent interventions are really important because you are preventing the behavior before it happens or trying to prevent the behavior before it happens. The article focuses on three main antecedent intervention strategies. The first one was called pre-session attention. So the first thing you want to do is conduct an FBA to find out the function of behavior. So for your kiddos who are seeking attention, I think pre-session attention would be really helpful. This is just where you set out an appropriate time and place to give your student the attention that they are seeking, but you're doing it in an appropriate way. For example, in the article it mentioned a student getting out of his seat during a lesson and asking the teacher a bunch of questions, demanding attention in an appropriate time. So giving your student pre-session attention might help prevent um, the inappropriate times where your student is seeking attention. The second antecedent intervention strategy the article talks about is called high probability request sequencing. So the first thing you want to do is find out um, the low probability request and then you're going to give your student three to four high probability requests followed by the low probability request in hopes that they complete it. And if the student is successful, you're going to you're going to automatically give them access to the reinforcer, and it should take place really fast. You should give them access to the reinforcer immediately after they complete the low probability request. And the third antecedent intervention that the article focused on was FCT training, functional communication training. So a lot of times kiddos with autism or other disabilities can act out in aggression whenever they are becoming frustrated trying to communicate. So FC, FCT training um, is an antecedent intervention that gives them an appropriate way to communicate with you um, in hopes of eventually decreasing those inappropriate and aggressive behaviors. I think antecedent interventions are really important because you're taking those preventative steps and um, in hopes that you are preventing the problem behavior before the problem behavior occurs. This has been something really helpful to me this year and I use antecedent interventions with some of my students. I'm super thankful to have learned about them this semester because it's really helped me with um, some of my students' outbursts during inclusion. Thank you.